emphasize, you're going to tell us a bit more about POSs and restaurant systems, etc. So we're moving a bit off the hotel topic and more into the F&B section. There we go. Guys, don't leave. I know F&B is uh, the evil of a hotel, but uh, it's still fun. Uh, first of all, Matthijs, thank you for inviting us. Um, I think it's good to uh, work with our partners to really provide an experience. So I'm going to tell you more a bit what we do in restaurants and how restaurant and Michelin star experience can be uh, applied to hotels as well. So it's going to be more about the F&B side, so bear with me. So maybe very short about me. Uh, I'm now director of hospitality at Lightspeed. I founded the Lightspeed restaurant five years ago. We were the first iPad POS in the world. Uh, in a matter of um, yeah, five years, we are now in 100 countries uh, with people around the world. Although we started really in restaurant, we saw there's a big benefit or need that also hotel restaurant had. So we were actually a bit pulled in that world. So luckily, we worked hard with all the hotels we have, and now we have really a seamless solution uh, that your restaurant and your hotel is fully integrated with. Before we start, maybe a short video about a hotel customer of us. Video? Will not work? Okay. Anyway, the, the video was about Soku Hotels. Uh, for you guys that um, already answered that, you probably know that hotel. So I want to showcase uh, what they are using from us. They are using a full suite of applications running their FMB uh, location. So it's very hard to say now, but officially they have their POS that runs their restaurant business. They have mini iPad, iPod Touch that runs and take orders in the free spaces. Uh, they have a, a full self-order kiosk for the breakfast. So why is all those things important is it's maybe the connectivity and the data. You know, the reason why we grow so quick um, is one thing we have one of the best products, but I'm just joking. It's, um, well, actually I'm not. It's mainly um, um, the, the last couple of years the world has changed. You know, in the last 10 years, you didn't have Facebook 10 years ago. The last seven years, seven years ago, you didn't even have an iPhone. So all those applications and connectivity didn't exist. And nowadays, you need to have them. So the key in the hotel and hotel restaurant is also to leverage the data. So to have a connectivity that allows you to pull the customer information out and in. For the rest, uh, I'm not going to go in detail. We're quite big, but most important, we are very local. So that's the, the thing with restaurants. We believe in local support, local service. We have uh, offices and resellers everywhere, so we can uh, help you and cater you wherever you go. So actually, I want to show to the guys at the left. So I understand why restaurant this, uh, business is not that interesting. So if you look at the stats, indeed, only 25% of your revenue in hotel is F&B. And it's more sad if you look at the restaurant side itself, it's maybe the only 5% of the total revenue. But actually, I don't see it as a problem. I see a huge opportunity here to grow. It's something that in, in crisis time where you have a lot of attacks, where you have a lot of issues, it's something a potential that you really should uh, deepen in. You know? uh, for example, um, in the case of Brussels, when you had the Brussels attack, the whole hotel business collapsed. Nobody was staying there, nobody booked rooms. So the only way the hotels could keep their bottom line is actually utilizing their restaurants to invite the local customers, the local people to come to drink, to eat, and so on. So it's more important than you think. It's something interesting, and I hope really that you guys can focus on it. If you look at the customer journey, uh, maybe I should go back before I show this, but um, like in hotel, the customer journey in a restaurant has completely changed. Before, you know, 10 years ago, or even, you know, when we started five years ago, when I want to go to a good restaurant, I would ask a friend. I would, you know, walk the street, see where it's busy, walk in. Nowadays, 70% of your restaurant customers comes through Facebook and other social media. That's huge. So the fragmentation of your customer journey has really uh, changed, and it's really split up. So you have one side, like you guys have hotel, search, you know, you need to be on TripAdvisor, Yelp, and so on. But even... For reservations, you go to a different system, you know, open table, ins, whatever. Then you have even food ordering systems. In room, maybe, uh, but mainly in the live room at Uber Eats. I think you guys all use that. And then you come to the restaurant itself. That's where Lightspeed is, where Lightspeed excels, and where we maintain and connect all the systems. So we run the whole restaurant, 
then we process payment or book it on a room in case of need. We do review, uh, loyalty, and etc. So what's the benefit of this? This looks very daunting for a restaurant owner. But also, this has a lot of potential. Because at the end of the day, in every part of this, we are talking about the same data. Customer information, uh, if uh, they are bringing their, uh, their wife or their mistress, you, know, you can all know that and tailor to that. So all those information you have here. Besides food, to really bring the Michelin star experience, you, know, you need to focus on exceptional customer service, home, away from home, and the impression that everything is easy. Uh, for example, we have uh, in Netherlands, you guys don't know that, we have uh, Sergio Hangman and uh, his new hotel fully running on us. Every restaurant is linked together, and that's the power. So when you are a guest and you check in in the hotel, every post will be populated with that customer. So what does it say? It's birthday, it's name, how many people you are, and so on. When you have done a breakfast and you said, I have an allergy, it will be recorded. And so when you're going to do a lunch or a dinner at the well, of this other restaurant, you won't even mention that. So it's going to be exceptional customer service. You're going to come in, and they're going to say your name, what you like, what occupation, uh, what reason you are there, and also make the dishes to your standard. So that's really the power. Even things like language. You know, when you have those information, you can do that. I always uh, think it's very strange or funny um, when I go to a, a hotel chain, um, you know, when I uh, order a whiskey at a bar, if I switch to the restaurant, they never know what I have ordered. That's crazy, you know. You should have multi-property, multi-store information. To deliver this exceptional guest experience, you also need to focus a bit on profitability, you know. So it's not only about, you know, making the best service and so on. You still need to make sure that your restaurant is profitable, and that happens to be a destination, not just a pit stop. I would say this audience is different, but last time was in uh, UK at the boutique hotel. That was a, a, a complete different world, where you saw the boutique on the hotels completely understand the need. They brand their new restaurant, completely something uh, different. It's not about you know, the, the club sandwich, the meat and the fish. It's about local food, seasonality, ethnic food. Be different and attract the customer. Second, also be data driven. So know what they are ordering. You know, it's not only about you need that service, but actually every waiter is your runner. So you can know what they are selling. So in the case of Sergio Hammond, uh, uh, he is doing very good wine hiring, but actually he's ordering their staff to sell certain wines because it has a bigger margin. You know? But how do you um, order that or how do you control that? Well, you need a system that at the end of the day, you can easily compare that and commission your waiters to that. So a lot of those tweaks help you to earn way more uh, revenue and uh, lower the cost. Also, we integrate with a lot of uh, other uh, ERP inventory system. So it's not only about uh, the POS, but we will make sure that if you have multi-store, multi-property stock um, management, you can really get the information out and do big data analysis. What day should I close? What day should I have less staff? And et cetera, et cetera. Finally, like I said, it's all about connectivity. Um, the key uh, and the future of hotels, and why a lot of hotels uh, are really switching to us, is that we have provided the connected world. You are not stuck with us. When you buy a POS, often it's a long-term investment. And each time you want to do an integration, you know it's going to cost a lot of money, a lot of time, and often it's impossible. With us, we have an open API for hotels, so you can build whatever you can imagine. If you want to do room service through an app, through a website, you can. If you want to have an ordering kiosk in every location, we cater meeting rooms. You know, Instead of someone knocking on the meeting room, you put an iPad there. They can order themselves. And that's really the power of connectivity and make sure that everything is open uh, and easy to use. And for the rest, we're also cloud-based. Um, so the stream remarks, I hope you remember. Make sure you're a destination. Be data-driven. And remember, it's all about connectivity. I'm sorry I didn't, could, uh, I didn't show the video, but uh, we are upstairs. Uh, if you want to get a demo or uh, a video of Zoku or any other hotel, uh, we can provide you a link and give you the information. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you John. Perfect.